I'm done. Doing a lot of rearranging at the moment. Should we move on to champagne? Woo! They're so salty. This is not a thing. Did that bug get on me? But I hate this bar cart. Honestly, it's not even that cute. I, am I sweating? Good morning. Hello, how are we today? My name is Jenica and we have such a fun, exciting vlog ahead of us today. Don't mind the mess or whatever you can see in the reflection. We got a storage unit and I'm just trying to decide what to put in there. Doing a lot of rearranging at the moment. So I left you guys off last week. Quick backstory of the bar cart saga. One day, I was just like, you know what would be so cute of me? To have a bar cart. It was just, it started out as a fun little idea. And I was like, that's gonna be so cute. I'm gonna be the best little host. Cause at first I was like, oh, I'm gonna be the girl that pours a glass of wine for anybody that comes into my house. And then I was like, no, I'm gonna make a martini for anybody that comes into my house. And then I was like, whoa. Jenica, you only have a wine rack. You don't have like any place for your vodka or like whatever else, mixed drink stuff. And that's where I messed up because I thought this would be a cute little fun, easy thing. And I know myself and I obsess over every little detail. I mean, it has been what, six months since we've been in this house and I'm not doing the house tour because I, it's still not fully done because I still can't make my mind up about things. Anyway, I searched for so long for the perfect bar cart. My mom even came up one day to help me and we went to about 600 stores and I just couldn't find the exact one I wanted because I wanted like a three tier. I didn't just want two shelves. I wanted it to be not any gold on it at all. I finally found one on Amazon. It was 125 bucks and some of the ones I looked were so much more money than that. So I feel like it was a really good deal. Exactly what I wanted. It came in, I was putting it together. I was so happy with it. Got to the last piece, it was broken. It just like the, the screw, the wheel was supposed to screw into the bottom of the thing and it just simply, like there was nothing for the screw to screw into. And I had put three other ones on so I know that I was doing it right. Anyway, it was just missing. I tried to find the part, I tried to do super glue. So finally I just emailed the brand and they sent me a new part. The part came in. It was the wrong part. It was the wrong part. It was the wrong part. Took two weeks to find a cart. Waited a week to get the cart. Waited a week to get another product. And I wasn't gonna wait another week to see if this was gonna be the correct product. So I got it through Amazon. So I was able to just return the order and get a new one sent. So I don't have the bar cart in just yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys, I need to get stuff like organized and ready. That way when the bar cart is finished, it's done. So I'm gonna give you guys a little haul of all the things that I got first. And then finally at the end of the week, when the bar cart comes in, we will do a full decorate my bar cart with me. So fun, but I've got to watch some YouTube videos in the meantime to even see what I'm doing. But before we even go there, I know I'm gonna get questions on this. And as I rightfully should, you guys, I cannot believe that I'm working with them. This incredible little set is from Girlfriend Collective. And if you have not heard of Girlfriend Collective, I'm so excited. They sent me this little outfit and I am just so shocked. Like Annika and I both got one and we are both, listen, I'll be real here, pre-breast reduction me just came to a conclusion that one sports bra wasn't gonna do it for me. One of the things I was most excited about after my breast reduction was to be able to find a sports bra that was just the perfect, have been almost in tears with Annika trying to find one. We have gone to every store, I have tried every brand. A lot of times the sports bras over here is not supportive. This is exactly what I look for in a sports bra. Let me give, let me bring you guys some better lighting. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I don't even know where I was in my little girlfriend collective rant. The point is I have truly looked for the perfect sports bra for, so the, these leggings are amazing too. I don't want to take any, any, let me just take this off. Woo! I don't want to take any of the stardom away from the leggings either because they're so, they're, they're also so good. Like I feel compressed, but I don't feel uncomfortable and they're not, I mean, you can tell that they're like not squeezing me in or whatever. I just, I mean, you can't tell me that looking at this, it's not the perfect little workout outfit. The leggings, however, are squat proof. So when you squat, no underwear will be showing. They come with pockets. There are different levels of support. And back to the bra. I need, I'm gonna have to buy another black one and a bunch of colors because I truly, look at this. It's the best bra. The material is so thick and soft, but like breathable at the same time. Cannot say enough good things about this sports bra. Girlfriend Collective makes their clothes sustainably and ethically. They offer sizes from extra small to 6XL. Right now I have two errands to run before I even take my soul cycle class, but I'm able to put this on with my little jacket and it's an outfit for running errands and then it's a workout outfit when I come home. This is the perfect sports bra. They do use recycled materials to make the clothing and all of the packaging is 100% recyclable as well. This has kind of felt like a TED talk because I genuinely am so passionate about sports bras because it has been a struggle of mine since I was like in middle school. I mean, I have to stop talking about it. Let's move on. Right now, 
now, Girlfriend Collective is offering $25 off of your first purchase of $100 or more when you go to girlfriend.com slash Jenica. That is girlfriend.com slash Jenica for $25 off of your first purchase of $100 or more. I just need y'all to know that I hate this bar cart. I hate it. I hate it. Several days later. I have had a couple breakdowns since that last clip. I left you guys off almost ready to do a haul. And I was like, you know what? I am gonna go ahead and put my art that I got for above the bar cart into its frame because like I can't show, it was all rolled up like a poster. I ordered the wrong frame size. It just keeps coming. And the bar cart was delayed another two days. So, you know, things have been happening. I don't really think that the universe wants me to have this bar cart. But here we are, and I think that we're gonna be able to film this video now. We are here and we are ready. Honestly, it's not even that cute. It's not even that good. It's, I don't even like this bar cart. I'm not even gonna link this bar cart for you because it's not a good bar cart. When I opened this box, this is not even the one that, that I was sent the first time. It looks exactly the same, but the parts are different and some of the racks were already built in and the other one I had to put all the racks on. So like, it's not even the same product and I ordered it from the same Amazon link. But this is someone's company and I'm not gonna talk shit about them. I'm not, we're not talking about this bar cart anymore. It's just like not flush, look at this. So like so many of the places, like this one's not bad, like that's not gonna be the end of the world, but I get worried about the glass. I had to literally like hammer these bars in order to fit the glass in. It was so unnecessarily complicated. But then my favorite freaking part is, which side is it? Right here, they didn't even include, so underneath they have these little guys and you put like this silicone suction thing in the glass kind of sections they didn't even put them on these sides so like this is just not gonna be sturdy but i'm done i'm done i'm done i am done with it so i guess when i said that i got a good deal on a bar cart i don't know how much bar carts are supposed to be i figured 100 bucks is plenty for a bar cart anyway here it is whatever so you got these racks here and this is for like wine glasses and things god I, I wanted a bar cart with three tiers that was the whole thing of the thing this is like more of a decor piece for me i didn't just want the two because i want to put like all kinds of stuff on it let's get it over here if this doesn't fit in this part of my apartment oh also it's like chipped everywhere look at this there's little chips everywhere in it if this doesn't work y'all gonna see a side of me that you have never seen before not caused a breakdown that's not bad huh are you ready to see my art above it it's so cute you probably had a sneak peek already but like look at this look at this look how cool that looks so fun huh so first let's go over these things this cart was from amazon we're not talking about it we're not linking it you're on your own find your own bar cart not this one hey besties hey besties um the bar cart is not that bad I just didn't have a great experience with it but I think that looking at it it's a it's a good bar, it's an okay bar cart so I am going to link it and you're on your don't tell anybody what influencer you found it from because I don't want to be a part of this but I will link the bar cart just in case you are feeling you know up for a challenge Second of all, this picture. For here, I really wanted to go with cheaper art that I could rotate out for different seasons. And since I wasn't able to get a bit, oh look, they're hung! Oh my god, you haven't seen these! Beautiful, huh? I wanted to be able to change out this portion for the seasons. So, this one's kind of my like fall. I have the other two that I have so far behind there. So anytime I get prints like this, I always try to get my art from Society6. Society6 works directly with artists. So anytime you just want like shirts for your bathroom or anything like that, always go to Society6 because they always have great deals. I paid 20 bucks for that. It was the print only. It was 20 bucks and it's a 30 by 40. It is huge, you guys. I mean like it is, it's really huge. I ended up getting the frame just made at some place in my hometown. My mom called me and I was crying. I was crying because I had ordered the wrong frame size. It was totally on me. The frame was great. She called our local, shout out Lawrenceburg Glass. That really hooked me up because my mom called them at like noon and they had this custom frame done, done with plexiglass, an inch and a half black, modern, like whatever thing for me by 3 p.m. 
Like my mom called them at noon and they, this was done by 3 p.m. So I'm very, very happy with that. I love it, I love it, I love it. Moving on, you're probably like, what is this guy right here? One of our, actually, one of the first sponsors of our videos probably like two years ago was a brand called Govi and we have just stuck with them ever since. They sell on Amazon. They sell LED lights, LED strips. Like that's what we use for behind our TV. Anna gives room and literally everywhere. Looms, you're still, you, you can't go outside. There's a bunch of wasps out there right now and you will eat them. So this guy is just like a little LED pole and I just, we've got so much color going on, I feel like, especially at night, we have our like, I mean, it feels like the freaking Hyatt house in here, I get that, but it, it's the vibe that we want to feel. <laughs> so this changes color, it changes colors, it goes to the music, like watch this. Will you play some like copyright free music? Okay, watch, so I just push the music option. Very bubby. Alexa, stop. But I'm just gonna turn it back to color and voila. Instead of giving you the haul and then loading it, we'll just, we're just gonna give the haul as we load things on there. So first I have these little martini glasses. They're so cute. They are iridescent and they're from Amazon. I have four of them total, but let's go ahead and put them where the glasses are supposed to go. Okay, that looks cute, huh? I'm filming a TikTok on this, so that had to be added. I think I need to add some wine glasses. I just have some wine glasses that I'm not like super crazy about, but I have some plastic wine glasses for like beach and picnic and stuff. These I just got from TJ Maxx or Home Goods or somewhere like that. They're plastic wine glasses, but they're this flat bottom, which is like so cute. Okay, should we get all the alcohol set up first? So according to Pinterest, most people have their alcohols at the bottom. Uh, some have it at the top. Oh, here's one that's just like mine. I wonder if yours was a piece of sh**. Here's one. So that's kind of what I'm trying to pull off here. Just because there's obviously not gonna be a lot of room for things here, I think there I'm gonna put these cute little wines that I got. This is a, it's called Day Drinking by Little Big Town. Like the singers? Maybe. Anyway, it's a watermelon rosé wine spritzer. And this one is a strawberry cooler by Underwood. Carrie Underwood? Is it? This feels too natural. No, I don't think that this is Carrie Underwood. But I, this might be Little Big Town. I mean, how many Little Big Towns do you know? That was so corny of me to say. So we have the... Like, of course I would finally film this vlog. And it's not the right time today to film. I'm going to put these, these fun cans there. Let's do here maybe. And I got them solely because they were pink and they needed to match the aesthetic. Next, I got these cute little, what are they called? Botanically brewed. I don't know, but this is a sparkling elderflower drink and this is a rose lemonade. I don't know. I thought that like throwing some vodka in there wouldn't be too bad. We are going to throw these. Not throw. This is completely slanted. Where should I put my there. Let me go ahead and put my books. This has been on my kitchen for like a million years. It's just the Kate Spade All in Good Taste. Have I opened it ever? Not once, but it's very cute. I think I'm gonna do this Kate Spade one and then I'm gonna do this. How cute is this? This is a, oh, here's how the, the Kate Spade one looks like that. I got this for literally like 14 bucks at Home Goods. Then I'm gonna do this Yes Way Rose on top. So cute. And then I actually got another like classic cocktail books, but it came in and it was messed up. So I got a new one. What do we think? Maybe. I found this fun little, I actually saw this on TikTok probably so freaking long ago, um, but I didn't have anywhere for it. And so finally, I was so excited to get this. It's just like a little ashtray, but I just thought it was very cute, very just like classic, and it like gives the bar vibes. This I want hidden very, very far back. Now, I tried to get an aesthetically pleasing Bloody Mary mix, and there were some, let me tell you, there were some great options, but this is just the best Bloody Mary mix in existence. It's so good. This is the best. So I want this in like a back corner where no one's going to... Oh, can I hide it there? Oh, I'm hiding it there. I have two two bottles of Belvedere. This is what I use for my dirty martinis. I this whole journey, actually, let's just let's just take it from the top real quick. This whole journey started because my friend Courtney, who owns Cheese Gal, it is a insanely beautiful cheese company cheese board company she's on a journey right now she like is perfecting signature drinks she did like a two-month series on her instagram stories perfecting a dirty martini and i was like well there's no way i can't try this dirty martini i've been watching her craft it to perfection she perfected the recipe and i just use hers and this is the vodka that she uses this goes for dirty martinis i guess really like vodka style martinis that i'll be doing when i went i'm almost out so when i went to pick up another one they like had all these like fancy gadgets with it let's 
place this vodka. I think that I'm going to put the brand new one also here. And then, okay, so vodka. I think I got it. Yes, I got. I also got a Tito's because what is a bar cart without Tito's vodka? Then, should we move on to champagne? Yeah, I left the liquor store and I was like, I didn't buy any champagne or rosé. What is wrong with me? I don't love champagne. I don't. I will drink it at a celebratory occasion, but I'm not really a mimosa gal. Champagne, like, hurts my, like, esophagus. So, I try not to drink champagne. But I did get some Prosecco to have on hand. You never know when no. Like, what if I woke up in the morning with a million subscribers? And I had no champagne? No. I have to have champagne on hand, just in case. Then let's go in with... This is very good tequila. I like it. I, tequila is my favorite. If you've been around for a while, you might know that I've said previously that I don't drink. That has obviously changed. I had to stop drinking for a while due to my colon. Uh, I came out of remission for my colon disease and alcohol just like was not the vibe for me. I honestly think that I'm still kind of allergic to alcohol because my cheeks get so... Anyway, tequila is my absolute favorite. So I did want a Reposado and I got, I just got a Patron Reposado. Then I got Los Sundays tequila. This is a Blanco, but it is, it has like coconut infused in it. So I wanted that for like drinks and things. And then I, of course, had to get the big daddy, a nice tequila for shots and things. Do not judge me for this. Do not judge me for this, but I needed like a, um, you know, in case my brother or my dad or like a boy was in my house for some reason. I just got a whiskey. I figured this one would be fine since I'm a Tennessee gal, but yeah, whiskey doesn't really fit the aesthetic. It's just here. She's looking cute. Okay, we, no, this is not gonna be able to be a thing. This is not a thing. Grandma's bar cart is not in your playground, Mr. Sir. So hi, Weez. he just doesn't do anything. Okay. All right, so then I just have some like mixer type things. First I have this sparkling water. I got this sparkling water because it is lemon flavored. Most of the drinks that I make are lemon or lime based. This one came from World Market. And let's put him, I don't know, I feel like the sparkling water is kind of cute. I don't know. Let's wait, let's wait on that. Okay, let's wait on that. I got these as well. These, this is Shay Mitchell's brand, and I had it for the first time on the last bachelorette party I went to, and it is so good. This is like exactly how I make my drinks anyway, so it's just awesome to have it in this like can form. Carbonated water, Blanco tequila, lime juice, and they're really aesthetic, so thanks Shay for keeping out for your girl, because how cute is that gonna look on this bar cart? This one's the grapefruit, and then this is the lime. Something like that, maybe? Nothing is speaking to me at the top. Like, I'm very happy with this, but nothing is speaking to me just yet on the top. So, scratch that. We still have a lot of stuff here, guys. Okay, let's get away. Let's get all these, like, these mixers down to the bottom. Okay, so this is just some agave, some grenadine, sweetened lime juice. These are things definitely at the bottom. Okay, I'm just gonna have to come sit down here, so let me get everything else that I need. This is just some simple syrup. Cute. And then I got these two Barsmith, like, mixer things. This is a Paloma, and this is a Moscow Mule. Now I think we'll do these guys on the bottom, now that I think about it. Oh, I also just got this little pitcher. This is just from Target, I believe. But it's really cool because it's got an open spout, or like a strainer side. If I make, like, mixed drinks and a bunch of people are over. Ah! Did that bug get on me? Is there a bug on me? Maybe I'll just keep this down here. Okay, let's also put this sparkling water down here as well. Or should it go here? I guess I could go there. I'm gonna set these at the bottom, I believe. I just feel like there should be some sort of... Ooh. I'm just not being wowed by the top yet. Okay, let's keep going. Next up, this might be the thing that I am most excited about. I don't even know how I stumbled upon these on Amazon, probably just from the weeks of me looking at bar cart things. These are so cool. Can you take a guess at what this is? Let me just show you, show you a couple. You seeing a pattern here? These are Himalayan sea salt freaking shot glasses. They're so salty. And so good. So they do come with like a plastic liner inside that like that's what you would wash, I guess. But like, 
I don't even care. These are the coolest things I've ever seen. A shot of tequila in that. It's so awesome. I love these. I freaking love these. Maybe I'll do like three up there. Okay. Then we have these guys. This is just a raw sugar rim, and this is a sea salt cocktail rim. So I'm gonna put these two guys down here. Okay, this is really fun. These are maraschino cherries, and they obviously have like a great value Walmart label, which no Chino shade, but I'm gonna use my Cricut, and I'm gonna just do like a little cherry. I'm gonna take this off and use just like a little cherry logo and just put a white like cherry. This is not done yet either. You guys, remember I showed you the this thing, like all my bar utensils and stuff? But it was this awful wood color that I hated. Painted it and I like it much better now. I think that I want to add some greenery over there and this is actually a live succulent. It looks so beautiful that it looks fake but it's live. You can tell that it's live because Annika's freaking cat has been going to town on it. So it needs to move to somewhere that he can't go anywhere anyway. Does that look stupid? Kinda. I'm kind of not obsessed with that but I think that I'm just gonna leave it for now. Next I have these fun things. I showed you guys in the World Market haul, but they are just like little fun things to uh, like rose petals, berries, and cinnamon, and just different things to like put on your drinks once you make them. Oh, these look cool. Look at these like pink peppercorns. How fun. Like a Christmas, doing a Christmas drink with those in it. Oh my God, there's rose petals. These are fun. Uh, I feel like I almost need like a basket type thing for these because they're glass and like they'll stand up, but for how long, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well for now we're just gonna put them at the bottom. Fully knowing that they're gonna keep falling. Okay, next up I have these iridescent um, like champagne flutes. I got these at Home Goods, And then I got these cute little pastel pink and purple straws. So I'm gonna put these on top. Is that cute? I can't tell, I need help, I don't know. Okay, the remote for this guy has to go somewhere over here. So I'm just gonna stick it like behind the books. And then the last thing, the last thing are these cute little tequila kills, the boredom. This is Los Sundays. They're just shot glasses. Is there lipstick still on these? Yeah, I think so. These Anna Grace and Shannon left at my house, so thanks gals. Um, they're here if you wanna get them back, but they're just cute little shot glasses. Okay! Definitely feel like I'm missing something. Okay, I just felt like I was missing something that went up. Still not so crazy about that, but I feel like it kind of works okay because that's actually a graph, it's not a vase, so come take a look, come take a look. Here she is in all of her glory. What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? I feel like she looks okay, you guys. And then just like, how cool is that? Don't you see how much that like just pop? Like it, I feel like it adds so much. It makes it like look very bar -carty. I think the only, this lighting, are you actually joking me? I think the only thing that I'm missing that I kind of did have my heart set on was there are these, Shannon has one and I don't know where she got it. I need to find it out. But Shannon has this like disco ball that is obviously hollow and like has crystals on it. It's so cool, but it's for like, champagne bottles or whatever and i kind of like had that in mind to go up here somewhere so i'm gonna start looking for those on etsy um if y'all see any please let me know but again i don't know what i'm doing here i need you guys to let me know what i'm missing because i feel like this is pretty cute though right okay i'm done that is that is all i actually cannot talk about this bar cart anymore but i hope you guys liked this i hope you guys really enjoyed this and i hope you're learning and if you want to learn about making drinks being a host a bar cart things to have on hand to make guest drinks um stick around because i will be taking all of the tips you guys give me and implementing them from now on wow you know what that is pretty cute now that i look at it I, am i sweating i do have a sweater on and you know it's one of those tennessee days where let's see oh let me just show you something really quick. It is 72 degrees. And for what? It is going to be in the 40s tonight. That is so dumb. That is just dumb. Here I am in my freaking sweater. Also, actually, let me show you a little quick little OOTD. I'm feeling kind of cute and kind of fallish. Here we are. Here we are. So this sweater obviously is from my White Fox haul. So cute. These jeans are from American Eagle. And look how stinking cute these little boots are that I got. They are Guess 
and I got them from DSW. Honestly, me, Annika, and my mom went into DSW. DSW, if you're watching this, have your people call my people. DSW, we went in there and it was, it slapped. I mean, I could have walked out with five pairs of shoes easily, but I just thought these were so cute. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. I always get so sad closing out because I'm like, well, I don't want to be done. I got ready for this video. I want to talk to people. All right, well, I love you guys so very much. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. I know it was a bit ridiculous and I overreacted several times. I do apologize for that somewhat. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. AJ just got home, so uh, I forgot to film her reaction. <laughs> but what do you think? It's so, everything fits, fits perfectly. Do you love it? Oh, it's so good. So cute, you're not gonna be stealing anything from this. No. So. Let's have a talk with um, the cats about not knocking anything over maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It'll only be yours that we have to worry about.